Well, first a house burned, then it collapsed, leaving a huge pile of rubble. It's been sitting for more than a year, and it's been more than an eyesore for neighbors who have been pleading for help. The house is a wreck, indicative of a much larger problem plaguing neighborhoods in St. Louis County. Here's Elliot Davis with tonight's You Paid For It. How would you like to wake up every day to this rubble that used to be a house here on Imperial Drive close to Delwood in North County? Events including a fire took a toll on this house that later collapsed. Cleo Stern, who lives across the street from it, says the neighborhood is paying the price. Just look at the mess. We work, go to work every day still, and I have to come home to this. I keep my yard, my house nice and clean, and I have to look at that every day. We've called everybody. All we keep hearing is you're unincorporated. I reached her representative on the county council, Retta Days. Why has it been like that so long? Well, it has been like that because no one has decided to address that. Uh, initially, we were told by Public Works that they didn't have enough money to address those. I got this statement from the county's Department of Transportation and Public Works. The owner has been chronically non-responsive to our notices of violation and court referrals. The house is on our demolition list and will be raised at the earliest possible date. Councilwoman Day says there are dozens of other homes like these you see here that need to be demolished but haven't. She says the council earmarked millions of dollars to get that job done, but she says the Page administration just sitting on the money while these houses just sit here vacant. Just look at the site along Hanley Road near I-70, one derelict house after another. Councilwoman Day says something should have been done about this years ago, but that didn't happen. Councilwoman Day says the county council earmarked $11 million in ARPA funds two years back to do something about the bad houses. She says the council even added money to hire three additional lawyers to go after owners to clear the way for demolitions. So who are you blaming for this? Well, I, I think it's a blame on the administration for not taking this seriously. I got this statement from County Executive Sam Page's office. Once the council restores the millions it cut from the budget, we will be able to stand up this ARPA program, which requires staff oversight to ensure compliance. We currently do not have staffing to do that. We need to really get on top of all these because otherwise you're going to have a bunch of homes that are going to be collapsing. You're going to have increased crime in the areas. If we didn't do ours, they'd be here with a ticket in a heartbeat. Councilwoman Day says she hopes to huddle with the Page administration and others involved in this mess to do something about getting faster action to tear down these bad properties, including the one that the viewer called me about that's on the demo list, but no telling when it's going to be torn down. Of course, I'm going to stay on top of this deal. After all, you paid for it.